Invasive species are organisms that are not native to California and they have evolved somewhere else and then have been accidentally or in some cases deliberately introduced into California. Once they arrive in California and they establish, their populations grow and expand and in some instances they can cause environmental or economic problems for us. It's very hard to determine the exact economic impact invasive species have in California, but some economic analyses suggest that non-native organisms may cost California anywhere from three to six billion dollars per year in crop losses and associated management costs. Not all non-native species in California are problematic. One good example are honeybees. They're not native to California, but they provide really important services for our agricultural producers. So California is the largest agricultural producing state in the United States, and on average it receives about nine non-native insect species per year. And approximately three of these will become significant pests for us to manage. Three very important insect problems that we are dealing with right now that have big agricultural impacts are the Asian citrus psyllid, which as its name suggests is a pest of citrus, and it's problematic because it spreads a bacterium which causes a disease called Huang Long Bing in citrus, and this is a deadly citrus disease for which there is no cure. Another problem that we're dealing with now is the invasion of the South American palm weevil, which is now well established in the southern parts of San Diego County. And a third species we're dealing with is the brown marmorated stink bug. This species is native to Asia. The invasive populations that have come to the United States originated in China. And it's a serious pest of fruit and nut crops, and will also attack a variety of vegetable crops too. UCANR is taking a very forward-leaning uh, approach to dealing with invasive species. So for example, you have uh, county-based advisors that help growers deal with invasive pest problems. There are campus-based extension specialists like myself who develop research programs and then extend this information to the end users. And UCANR also sponsors research programs. And within this are, are a set of strategic initiatives, one of which is the Endemic and Invasive Pests and Diseases Strategic Initiative, which provides research funds to deal with some of the most serious invasive pest problems in California. Invasive species is a human-made problem, so please think carefully when you're moving fruits and vegetables from one part of the world to another, or maybe from one state into California. If you've been overseas, please don't bring in fruits and vegetables, because they may be bringing unwanted organisms into California. If you've been hiking in natural areas overseas, you may want to clean your hiking gear, your tents, or even your, the shoes that you're wearing because some of these invasive species may be small microbes or even weed seeds that are trapped in the mud that are stuck to your shoes or on your shoelaces.